Hello everyone and thank you guys for watching. So about I said six, seven months ago I started noticing that when it rains my car gets wet right here. You can see yesterday we have a lot of rain and it's pretty soaked. And here I thought the the problem was here. And you see what I did? Put a bunch of silicone there. Well, not there. Turns out the sunroof never seals correctly. Inside here, there's a draining tube. That tube has become disconnected somehow. That tube had become disconnected somehow, and thanks to YouTube, I found how to fix it. So I went to the store, got me a bunch of torque screws, some tape, and I'm gonna turn my attention to dismounting this and taking it out so I can lower the headliner down and fix the issue. So uh gonna pause you right here once I get this out and we'll see if the tube is really disconnected. So it's the T15 Torx bit that I'm gonna need for those screws. So for those of you who are having this problem and you're gonna do it, T15 Torx screw. Okay, so this is the tube. You take the screws out of here and then, I guess... Let's see how this goes. So, I don't know if you can see in there that's the corporate this tube becomes undone from that drain thing what a freaking bad design that is so I gotta push it back in and I'm gonna put some tape and hold that in place maybe that will take care of that Well, there it is. Not the prettiest thing. I don't know if you can see in there. Not the prettiest thing, but I guess it'll hold. That's a bad design altogether. I don't know what Chevy was thinking. <laughs> but that that's a bad design. I mean, the freaking tube just popped out. So... And I saw another video where the other side happened to pop out as well. So I'm not going to do that side just yet. But I know if that happens and it starts to get flooded, that's what the problem is. Anyway, that's a quick short video. I hope that if someone has this problem, well, that's what it is. Thank you guys for watching.